Hello, welcome to my channel and uh, start by wishing everybody simply a happy new year. It's the 1st of January 2024 and today just a short video whilst we decorate the pages of this book. So what I've decided to do is use some of these Tim Holtz uh, flowers because I thought they went really nice with the vintage, that's actually a vintage die cut. So we're going to use those. I've just got one of those strips, you know, we have hundreds of these, don't we, that we cut off from paper. Um, in the last video, I showed you that as I go along, I make the snippet rolls. And there it is, I've actually done some stitching down. So today, if we've any bits and pieces left over, I'll just add to that snippet roll. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is, so there's going to be a front. And as we put this on the page, there'll also be a little bit of back showing. So the first thing I'm going to do is just um, stencil, stencil I nearly said, stencil the back and off we go, just to give the back some interest as well. So yesterday we had a really quiet New Year's Eve by choice. We went to the cinemas and we watched, um, I keep calling it Umpa Lump, but it's Wonka and it was really good. There was myself, my daughter who's 34, my son who's 27, my daughter's husband, obviously in his 30s and my hubby. Uh, 21 my hubby he's not really he wishes he was but he's not it's 21 in his head so we all went to watch that Easter afternoon then went out for a lovely Mexican meal so that was really nice we were back home and I was in bed before midnight so I've got some um what is it musical pa music paper dry glue and I'm going to just pop this on here yes I was in bed I didn't want any um, I didn't want any pomp and ceremony last night because I just thanked God that we'd all come out of this alive and well and in one piece this 2023 and thank god for that thank god for all the lessons i've learned this year and boy oh boy have i learned some lessons and then as i think a lot of people have a lot of people have had a very tough 2023 so i thank god for all the lessons i've learned and then um, went to sleep however my hubby came up at midnight wished me happy new year I asked him where my champagne was to which he said oh do you want a glass to which I said absolutely not I was joking to which he said I'll get you a glass if you want no thank you it was like midnight and I was asleep or half asleep so there we are that's covered uh, I kept all the same dyes out and inks that I've been using. This is the uh, peeled paint. So for the journal and for the journal cover here, I'm using all the same sort of papers and the same style, the same inks, so that everything coordinates. And I am going to put Manchester across there. Um, some um, a few people commented and said put your own home city so that'll be going on there and i should get my study back tomorrow my little office and so i'll have access to my printer so i can let's take that as there so i can print tomorrow
So, oh, gone off the edge of the paper there. So what I've done with this little uh, strip of card that I had, I have just been adding. So any bits um, like that there, not that because it's white. As I've gone along, I've just been adding. So let's pop that on there. And then when I've done today, I'll do some um, more stitching over the top of it to keep it all lying nice and flat. All right, I'm going to put this. This is the keychain that I used on the... What's the journal? Put it away. The keychain that I used on the back of... Not keychain. Chain gold. Best quality solid gold chain advertisement. I'm going to put that on here as well. So it's just going to be the edge of this. Pop that there in the middle. Um, I'll put it on a bit crooked, that one. Doesn't have to be straight, does it? I can hear people saying, yes! My mum will be shouting, yes, it does! Somebody said to me the other week, you're a bit of a wacky artist. I didn't know how to take it. I did not know how to take it. But then I decided to take it. I'll take that, that's good. That is good. Right. So what I'm going to do now is... Uh, I'm going to... Let's just take it. I've got a few of these chain pieces here. I'm going to stick them on my snippet here. So you just keep literally building this up with layers of um, snippets, obviously, scraps. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Uh, with scraps, with um stitching if you've got a sewing machine you don't have to stitch if you've not you can put some four stitching marks down so just keep building it up building it up and then you get yourself a great snippet roll at the end of it and all as you go along you're using up your scraps but like i said before i'm using my scraps but my scrap dish scrap bag there is a bag he's getting just bigger and bigger and bigger don't understand it right there we go right back to this and decorating my journal i am going to cut some piece going to cut some off so let's do one i should have do that after contact two Three. See in the night they're on the back as well. You've got some interest as well. Four. That's five. Oh. I'm not bothered about things being straight, but I wanted it straighter than that. You can tear these if you want to. Right, so what I'm going to do now is, first of all, I'm going to sit down. Then I've got my little bits and bobs here. And I'm just going to make some edges for these. Some, like, tag edges or some interest for these edges. So, for example, let's check my frame. I've got a habit of pulling everything right towards me. So I'm going to do something like this. Well, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to stick that on there. So don't forget to go around just to get rid of them white edges. Now you can glue these if you uh, not glue them. You're obviously going to glue them. You can stitch these if you want to do. Just glue that on there. And then decide 
where we want this. I'm going to sort of put it in, in on an angle there, like that. So glue on the back where I wanted it to go. I'm just going to glue that on. And that looks pretty. There we've got the stencil on the back. Let's just turn over. Oh, this is... Oh, that's a nice one too. I mean, I could put just put a long... No, that's too long. Too long! could just put a long one on there, couldn't I? And I'm sticking to these. I'm going to stick with these. I'm just going to stick with these. I'm just going to stick this on. So got the nice bit on the back. I'm going to have a bit overlapping. However, I'm going to put one of the bigger pieces on there as well. And that is, looks really pretty. So I really just did these just as a matter of interest for in the background and sort of to bring the pages together as well. So on Friday, I, I'd said I was going to do this video on Saturday, but I didn't, obviously. On Friday, we did go for our fish and chips, but we got to where we eat and it was full. And it was like <laughs> on the coast, but it was absolutely freezing and blowing a gale. And, and we're like, why has everybody decided to come out today? The day that we've come here thinking it would be quiet. No, it was absolutely mad busy. So we went for a walk first with the dogs, took the dogs on the beach. The tide was in, right in, so actually the dogs couldn't go on the beach. We couldn't take the dogs off the lead because the spaniels and they would have been straight in the water. Doesn't that look pretty? So you can see how you're going to be able, because the pages are different sort of widths and what have you, you can see different sizes, you can see the the pages overlapping. There's the envelope. I think we'll put one up the side of the envelope. So yeah, so the dogs. That looks good. Number nine or nine or must try not to cover that. Yeah, so the dogs didn't get in the scene, they had to stay on lead, but but they weren't too bothered. And we got back to um the pub and it was yay open for fish and chips because there was spaces i mean it was open for fish and chips before but there was no spaces there were spaces so i'm just going to take one of these tim holtz it's a uh, park car parking ticket when you would have parked cars years ago vintage style so we went in we were sat by the roaring fire and we had fish and chips. Then my hubby said, Should we go for a ride up into like one of the local towns and just have a walk along the seafront? And I said, No, I think I'd rather have another glass of wine. At least I was honest. I think I'd rather have another glass of wine and some uh, pudding. So my husband said, Well, I don't want any pudding. You have some. Well, well, all right then, all right. So anyway, when the puddings came, yes, I said puddings because there was two of them. He had um, ordered himself some as well. So, which I knew he would. I absolutely knew he would. I think I put that one on there. Yeah, I knew he would. So I had another glass of wine and pudding. I put crumble and custard and um snuggled up to the fire dogs fell asleep under the table they were as good as gold the pub was full of dogs <coughs> absolutely well the doggy area was full so we snuggled up with the dogs the fire the pudding and there you go we had a lovely time thoroughly 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 they can't see that one because of the page lengths but isn't that pretty? I mean, I'd have, if I'd have left that, which actually I have, there's no glue. I don't think there's any glue on there. That's a little top spot there. So, yeah. 
Then we came home and curled up in front of our own fire, <laughs> watched some TV and then went to bed. Did we have anything to eat that evening? I think we just had a sandwich later in the evening. It was a really nice day though. Right, let's move along. Let me put something here. Um, right way up. So yes, yeah, so it was really, really very, very, very nice. Then yesterday I should have been doing some video. Not yesterday. Oh, so Saturday I'd said I'd do a video. Well, did I? No. Why was that, Sharon? Because my mum, you know, was in hospital all uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and she she was discharged to, like, this nursing at home service. So I went down to see her and I, I just thought I'd go for an hour. I'll nip for an hour, I'll go home and do some videos and things. Anyway, my mum's apartment is so snug and warm so I curled up and she went to me would you like to put one of my dressing gowns on because <laughs> she knows I like lounging around in my pyjamas and I had a big woolly dress on and I was very very warm so she went would you like to snug into one of my pyjamas into my pyjamas uh, into my dressing gown so I did because I had my underskirt on because I was I brought up of an age that I always wears underskirts. So she knew I'd been my underskirt. So I popped a dressing gown on. She gave me a glass of sherry, schooner, schooner of sherry. And before I knew it, I was fast asleep. So again, as I need you, just sort of slap your days away. So I ended up there for about five hours. She woke me up and she said, would you like some tea? That for us, that's dinner, that's our evening meal. Would you like some tea? So I said, I'll have a cup of tea. So I had a cup of tea, rang up and he came and picked me up. So, and then yesterday we went to the cinemas. So today's the first chance I've had. No, they look nice from behind with the bit of stenciling on the back. Really pleased with those. Yeah, you can see that one. I don't know when you can't see that, but it does look pretty when you do get to see it. Um, let's go here. So, yeah, it's been a nice few days. And I finished off. Yes, I did do a little bit of crafting yesterday. I finished off a journal that I've been uh, working on. Silk. It was silk velvet that I dyed. And, oh... It's taken me ages and ages and ages, but it's done and it is beautiful. And I am so, so pleased with it. I'm going to put on here. Put this little one on. Yeah, I'm so, so pleased with it. I'll do a flip through. It's somewhere nearby to uh, for me to do a flip through. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. The fabrics I've dyed, and like I say, it was sil uh, velvet silk. It cost a fortune, but boy, oh boy, has it been worth it. Boy, oh boy. Oh, boy, oh boy. It's pretty, pretty. I like just going back and having a look. Oh, that's pretty on its own, isn't it? What if we just put one of these on? There. This one. Like that. You just might need a little bit more glue. And then we just put a, um, one of these. Let's just do the edge, one of these. Do you know, I might do some little tiny envelopes and pop them through as well. Because I'm not going to put tucks and I'm not going to put pockets and things in this because uh, I'm going to put a bag of ephemera. So it's then up to whoever gets this uh, to do the decorating themselves. Yes. 
that's what I'm doing with this one. I'm trying to gather really good Etsy restock. Uh, oh, does it need? I feel like it needs something else. Just got my drawer here at the side of me with my Tim Holtz in. So, like this one. No. Might not actually just not need any flowers on there. That's nice. The, that dark rose. Oh, actually, I think that looks nice on there. Some more bits out here. Just put one of these 45 cents on. A little uh, what's that enclosure? Hmm. Hmm. Throw me into a quandary now because it's already pretty enough with this. What about just a little butterfly? Yep, I will do that. I'll just put that little butterfly on there. I've got to edge it. Let's pop the butterfly on, the dog barking in the background. Can you hear? That's my daughter's dog. That's pretty. Uh, I would like to put something on here, I think. Hmm. Oh, let's move on a bit. Oh yes, here, this one's nice. I do like this rather large one here. That is lovely. So if I put that onto there, that's the, check it's the right way up. And then I do this onto here. And then I do that onto there. That's nice. And it all matches in with this on the front. I will put things in these in the pockets, the front and the back part of the paper bag. I will put things in there. Um, I don't know what yet. Let's put something on here. Like it, but then when I put it on, oh, this is nice. And this, so you could use your die cuts, your fussy cuts. You don't have to have the Tim Holtz things. I just, um, I'm so terrible at fussy cutting. I've said before, I need to practice more. You need to tell me the best scissors. But Laurie, girl on the ridge, my God, I've never seen anybody cut a fussy cut as fast as she can. And it is really well cut. If I cut that fast, everything would be cut off. Heads would be cut off. Flowers would be cut in half. Everything. So my next video will be, not making the ephemera for this, my next video will be the flip through of my velvet journal that I have made inspired by the uh, a course I've taken with the Artsy Bohemian. That's nice. Should we put one of these in there? Should we put that in? No. There we go. And that, my friends, is all the decorating that I'm going to do. So let's catch that. So from the back, you can see everything stenciled. So from the front, we get this, this one, this one, this one. Lovely pages, aren't they? This one. This 
waffle lover you can see them just popping out they're not all laid on straight they're a little bit squiggly ski whiffy there this one is that a word in your language ski whiffed when it's not quite straight that one and that one and i think that's really pretty book so i will add to this package there'll be an envelope full of ephemera so that whoever gets this can decorate some more as they use it as a scrapbook a little blue book a journal whatever they wish to use it for and this my friends fits very nicely into there and there will be an envelope in there i need to put manchester on there printed on fabric um, so it'll be later in the week, I would imagine, probably Friday before I do another video for this. So it says on there, Handmade with Love by the Divine Vintage, which is me, Sharon, Sharon Alexander. Right, I am now going to stick some more bits and pieces on here, but I am not going to um, let you sit there watching me do that because it's much much more important things to do with your life like your own journaling so i'll see you very soon uh have a great new year all the best for 2024 put everything from 23 behind you thank you um make thanks to whoever you believe in for all the things that you've learned and um, let's carry on with 23 and 24 and try and learn new things Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.